Hello folks, in this video I am going to show you how to permanently delete files on your iPhone. With this option, you can see what data still remains on the device and be sure that the files you previously deleted are no longer accessible or recoverable even with the latest software. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. But before we begin, make sure you have connected your iDevice via USB to your computer. First, we are going to click the link in the description box below to visit the website eraseiphonedata.com. Scroll down to click the Download Now button. On the next screen, click Download Trial. Then follow the installation instructions to begin. And here's the software. Once your iPhone is connected correctly to your computer, you'll notice your device stats here in the center of the screen. Along the left side, there are some menu options that you can use to further optimize your iPhone. Now, before you can permanently erase already deleted files from your iPhone, you will need to either manually delete the data from your device or use the Erase Private Data option. Once your data has been deleted from your iPhone, select the Erase Deleted Files option. Now, simply click on the blue Start Scan button to begin analyzing the data on your iDevice. This will only take a few minutes depending on the size and number of files on your device. Here are the results. Along the top bar, you can see the total amount of deleted records detected on your iPhone. Below this is the list of deleted file types. If you'd like to view just what deleted data has been detected on your iPhone, simply click on the file type here on the left panel. And the window on the right will update showing you the private data files found. Here you can now select or deselect an entire data group to delete by checking or unchecking the checkbox next to the deleted data file type on the left panel. When you are ready to erase your deleted files, click on the blue Erase Now button. A window will pop up with some warning text to read before the data erasing begins. Once you have safely completed the warning tasks, you can select the security level of the data erasure. It defaults to medium, but by clicking on the security level link, you can change the level at which the software will securely erase your data. When you are ready to erase the data on your iPhone, type the word delete in the text box in order to confirm your decision. You will have to register the software in order to erase the data on your iPhone, but once you do that, your iPhone's data will be securely erased and the whole process will only take a couple of minutes. And that's all there is to it. If you want to permanently delete files on your iPhone, I can think of no better way than using the best safe eraser software available. And by clicking the link in the description box below to visit eraseiphonedata.com, you can get started erasing your data today. Good luck.